All right, guys, before we, um, we get on to, you know, how to use this tool, I think I'm just going to point out some, well, try and take some of the fear out of the compass. I know some of you younger guys who are doing Cubs, Scouts, Army Cadets, Duke of Edinburgh, um, you will be taught this and... You know, I remember when I was I was first taught this. It was it was a little bit scary to start off with, just because um, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is take well, just a couple of minutes and explain the principles of a compass. We're going to start off with we have a look at the main twiggly wiggly thing. That's called your bezel. Okay. And inside here, you have your needle. That will always point to magnetic north. Okay, we have a line running straight down the center of your compass. That's known as your direction of travel. Okay. Then you'll come to these three L-shaped grid markings, as it were. And you'll see we've got three different scales on there. They're called romas. Now the maps that I use are 1 to 50,000 scale, so we will be using this central Roma. These are primary function, primary function is to give yourself or be able to read a grid reference. Um, and the next lesson will be how to take or make a six figure grid reference. So, um, other little bits on here, you can see down here, this one has got a ruler down here, which is just simply marked in mils, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 mil. Then we've got a little bit of a, a ruler there for inches. But that's it. It's not that scary. It is simply a tool to give you an orientation for a magnetic north. That's all it is. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this bezel around here and just line up our direction of travel with the north on the bezel. There you go. That's at zero degrees or 360 degrees, whichever you would rather use. So if we look, we've got north, south, east, west, but we also have all these figures around here, 360 degrees. So east is 90 degrees, south, is 180 degrees, so on and so forth, until you're back round to 360 degrees. We're going to use this when we're actually taking a compass bearing. But for the next lesson, all we're going to use, we're going to use this Roma up here, which is going to allow us to give a six-figure grid reference or to take a six-figure grid reference. So there you go. Hopefully I've taken some of the fear out of it. And... Um, if I can assure you, in future, if you get good at reading a map, you will hardly ever have to use a compass. How's that for you? Just thought I'd put that out there. If you can read a map well, you're not going to need these. Right. Yeah. Let's take a grid reference. See you in a minute. Bye.